haven't burnt my own draft record. But what I'm doing is legal. This is why I believe I'll receive justice in the Howe courts. And you can deny the draft on any grounds, but you'll have to go to court. It's law. If you lose, you go to jail, which I said I do. I'm, my fight is legal. But if you notice, I'm being the most persecuted. I'm not allowed to work in America. I'm not allowed to leave America. Home of the brave, land of the free. Not, allowed to, not even allowed to leave where I can work. Countries that will accept me. And now I'm due $10,000 fine in five years. All this brings on racial trouble. People see this. They see other athletes and entertainers getting by on little excuses. And I know I'm sincere. But now I get a heavy penalty to the, to the white preachers that break into government houses. Burn up the draft card, hang statues of the president, lay on the Pentagon step, leave America, white citizens. But I'm the bad one now, the poor slave. Now I'm the bad one. Just one more question. Do you share the same concern uh, that uh, Muhammad has for his draft status? Oh, I certainly do. Uh, you, my, my views on the draft are very clear. I'm against it. And I think the sooner our country does away with the draft, the better it will be for everybody. I'm the, very disturbed about the militaristic posture of our nation. And I think until we have a radical reordering of priorities in our country, uh, we are going more and more to the depths and I should say to the doom that follows arrogance of power, Senator Fulbright.